Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. James here. Uh, we are going to uh, get going here today. This is day number 21 of our corn earworm research project. Um, uh, not sure what today will bring, what we'll find, um, but we'll get started here in just a second. We'll take all of our data, collect it all, get it put into our spreadsheet, into our document, and then we'll see on the flip side to talk about our results. Okay, everybody, um, so we've got all the data collected. Um, we've got a few more worms that, that perished over these last three days, but not too many. Um, a lot of, or several of the food color worms have pupated, so they are gonna be moths here in the next, uh, I think it's 10 to 15 days is how long the pupation lasts, how long they stay in their little chrysalis. Um, we haven't had any of the control worms uh, pupate yet, which I find a little bit interesting, but that's okay. But many, many, many more of the ones in the dark have pupated. So um, you'll need to double check the numbers there on, on the uh, website or in Google Classroom, excuse me, um, to see the total numbers that have pupated. Um, but we are working our way through the life cycle of these little suckers. So um, we're almost there. Um, I have a butterfly house that we will put the moths in once they um, emerge and we'll try to keep them around for a few days and get some video of them and talk about them as, uh, as adults and then um, we'll go on from there. So I uh, hope everybody is doing well and we will see you next week for week three of distance learning. Take care. Bye-bye.